Welcome back to another episode of Alpha to Adam. This is going to be episode four. We are picking up where we left off. Uh, we had honestly, all we did was just throw a loom down, throw the cotton in it to be refined, and then we took a quick break. Uh, I just hopped my uh, in my coffin here, so I should still actually have some garlic. Let's take a look. And just like that, we still have our garlic. So everything is just how it was. I'm going to hop into bear form to help that start to reduce. So uh, while that is going down, I'm actually we're going to take a quick inventory uh, over what all has happened. So the one thing that did happen is we were able to refine all of our cotton. So that's pretty solid here. Uh, you know, obviously we took a break for that to happen. All of our iron and uh, copper here has refined. So that's super nice. So, um, but other than that, let's take it, while we're waiting for this to run down, let's take an inventory of where we are so far. So, so far this run has been about two hours long, give or take a couple minutes. And I want to reiterate that this is on a server that specifically has faster refinement time. So, uh, that is just a thing that can happen quite often on private servers. I'm not really concerned about that. I'm not trying to show a 100% perfect start to finish run like of my on my own speed you know doing as fast as i possibly can uh that will probably do one of those pretty soon you know after this specific series but for now we're basically just using this as a series to share the knowledge to share the information so with that in mind uh i just let's just do a quick inventory we are where we are so two hours in uh, of the run you know we have cotton we refined all this we have plenty of you know mats and stuff here we have we have an iron weapon. Let's go through the boss. Let, you know the boss is what we've defeated. We obviously we've got an alpha. There's a couple that we've left behind here that we will need to go back and you know we don't ne technically need these two, but we probably will go back and kill them anyway. This is super, arrow super nice for storage. Gorse wine we'll, we'll absolutely have to kill because we need to craft bone dust with our bones. Putrid rat he's coming soon. He's rat is just such a useful thing to have in this game. And then Polora and Niklaus. Niklaus, we probably don't honestly even need to worry about him. Polora, we will kill because I want her dash as well as the growing plots. But other than that, I mean, we skipped through tier one in about an hour. Tier two, first thing we did, we went over here and killed Krieg and Meredith. I mean, look at this. We level 50 and level 44 are already dead. We've already killed these guys. Unlocked Ward of the Damned, unlocked the Reaper, unlocked Veil of Storm, and Holy Resistance Potion. So we've already done that. We did that at level 30. Keep that in mind. Uh, and then obviously I went over and smoked Beatrice the Taylor in like two seconds with the Reaper that we made after killing Krieg. So you see, just something that's keep to keep in mind with your runs, you don't have to follow this list exactly. You don't have to start from the bottom and slowly go up. And, okay, I'm going to kill every level 20 boss. Now I'm going to kill every level 20, you know, 27s, then the 30s, then the 35s. You don't have to do that. You do not have to follow this method. Really, how you get to the end is up to you. Um, depending on, it's honestly also based on your skill and your experience, which is something that I really, really, really love about this game. That's like my favorite thing about this game is based on your own skill and your own performance, you can skip so much. I mean, obviously, stuff up here might not, maybe not so much. I mean, I'm sure somebody's done it. I, I mean, I've seen kill, I've seen people kill uh, sticks extremely early <laughs> so like way earlier than you could possibly imagine probably like in the i think it was like 24 i think the person was kill sticks so uh that was because of a bug so and, and also i've seen another thing where there was a you know explosions explosives involved i don't really mess around with stuff like that but anyway let's just take a quick inventory so that's where we are now i wanted to show where we are and basically what our what our next plan is so let's go over our gear oops so we are in Night Stalker with a ring. We obviously have a little cape here, and we have our uh, our Iron Reaper. So obviously the next step is to get an upgrade to our to our other gear, our armor and our ring. We have the cotton we need to do this part, um, but the one thing we're going to we're going to need next is going to be our blood our upgraded ring here. Now some people go to Grave Digger Ring. Me personally, I skip from Blood Rose all the way up to Scourge Stone Pendant or Scourge Pendant. So we're going to do that in this episode. We're going to get full Hollow Fang and a Scourge Pendant and potentially even further. So uh, yeah, so we're at 52 Garlic. While we're waiting for this to keep going off, we're going to clean up our inventory 
and get our Hall of Fame. So let's go ahead and grab this. We have Bloodwise. We have enough blood, I believe. First thing is going to be a tailoring bench. We don't currently have tailoring floors. So we will need that soon. But here we are here. Uh, let's see. We'll go with the Razor Serpent Cloak. That's one of the coolest ones. And we have enough of these to get a full Hollow Fang set. We have enough cotton yarn and wool thread. So that's the thing we're looking for a lot at that point. Before we come back to base after getting our cotton, it's very much it's very important to get as much wool thread as you can. That's something that a lot of times people forget. You know, they go through, they farm 3,000 cotton or something, or every single cotton farm in the entirety of Dunley. They come back and they have like four wool thread. And they're like, well, I can't even make a loom. And now they have insane garlic stacks. And they have to go back into Dunley with tons of garlic just to get the wool thread. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're picking up the wool thread as much as you can while you're getting everything else. So in the meantime, we're actually going to toss this in here. Um, I'll probably end up making another loom as well eventually. Uh, for now, I, we don't, we're not going to be refining anything just this, you know, right this second. So we're going to leave that as is for now. I'm going to go ahead and do a little inventory of my other items here. Toss everything that I need to into these buckets, into these little chests here. All right, so we're glass is definitely going to be something that we're going to need in the future. So keeping in, keeping our, that in the back of our minds. There's a lot to juggle in this game. I know that's it may seem a little bit crazy. There's a lot to juggle in this game and a lot that sometimes we can probably forget about until you see it but as you play the game and you practice and you just get more experience with it you'll be able to make these like super big jumps in progression and like you'll be able to keep these things in your mind as you're going so with that in mind i'm actually going to use our planks here to build a castle chest this is going to be our spot with all the important stuff like you know stuff like this Mercer's hollow fang boots so we have a hollow fang recipe already here's another study book there uh other than that i'm not really inclined to worry about all that stuff that stuff all that much uh so let's see here we'll sort this toss some fish in there we'll toss our flowers in here i did toss the fish in there i did didn't i yeah we'll toss these fish in there as well keep this we're actually going to put this in our tailoring bench and then we don't have any grow plots which we're at 34 cotton or 34 garlic now and we have a full set so let's grab this and we're going to break this down just to get the leather and whatnot from it so go over to this thing look at this so right now we are level 41 there we go uh we're going to toss these inside here keep them you know i always go to the furnaces to get my copper and again, while we're waiting for things to kind of, the, the garlic to go down here, we're actually going to make a plan of what we do next. So what do we do next? What do we need next? So we do need the pendant for sure. That is like one of the most important things we need next. Uh, however, there's also something else we could use. Now that we're level 41, there's someone else we would love to destroy who is going to be our friendly neighborhood Batman Tristan the Vampire Hunter, who will for sure be annoying, but we can absolutely handle once we wait a little bit longer on this. In fact, what I'm going to do instead of before I fight him, I'm going to go kill Pelora because I feel confident I can go kill Pelora at level 41 with our garlic stacks. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so our garlic is actually going down really quickly because of our cloak. So um, let's see what the next tick is. It should be like four, I think, or three. I think four actually let's see what it is so we're gonna wait a second here daylight is coming no it's three okay all right so we're gonna hop on our horse and we are actually super close to Pelora. so we're gonna go take care of that all right so we are over here mark that for us so we remember where it is and just keeping in mind what we're going to need for future, like the future of our runs here. Like what, what can we look for while we're riding over to keep in mind, like to, to think about and say, okay, we're definitely going to need that. Like, so for instance, Blood Rose is going to be nice later on. Uh, but for now, Sulfur, 
copper. I think we're probably okay on those this very second, especially because we're so close to sulfur mine. So I'm not too concerned about that. Clive's sulfur mine uh, can give us a ton of sulfur really quickly. So not too concerned about that. And we're going to fight Pelora here in the daytime because I'm such a high level here that I'm, I'm pretty confident that we should be able to just stomp her, especially with Reaper. Now that we have a Reaper, it's just going to be infinitely easier. So let's see where she is. She's going to probably be over there. Yeah. So while we're waiting for her to come back, we are going to take the time to get some Blood Rose. Blood Rose being extremely nice for later on in the run. Uh, whenever we're really, really looking to push fast, having a bunch of Blood Roses to make our potions is going to be extremely nice. The difference between... So Vermin Salves are really, really a big deal. But the difference between a Vermin Salve and a Blood Rose Brew or Blood Rose Potion, or Blood Rose potion is just night and day. So we're definitely going to be keeping that in mind. All right. And she's coming this way. We're going to use our Word of the Damned. Actually, you know what? We're actually going to switch to counter here. I find it to be a little bit easier to use counter on her. Because um, that way... That way um, she can't heal up with healing moves on the skeletons. I don't know. I mean, it kind of maybe that's just a little bit... <laughs> A little bit too crazy, but for me personally, that's what I that's just how I find this fight to be. Oh, got hit. It's okay. Alright. Be gone! Oof, got me. It's okay. And just hit her with this. Again, like, this... She's not really all that important until this point anyway. Like, you don't, does it really matter if you... You know... Oh, whoops. I thought she was gonna hit me with the, the wolf. That right there. And there we go. And do we really need to grow things right now? I don't think we do. Like, it's not really important for us to worry about growing things at this very point at this point in time obviously like now sorry now it's nice because we have the blood rose and whatever but in the beginning of the game like what exactly are we getting for that you know like not much so so all right we're gonna go over here and grab a few more of these blood roses how much you have we're at 270 we're gonna do we're gonna start all the way over here and just sweep down this side we're not gonna get every single one of them we're just gonna get most of them so, Q. Reaper makes this super easy. And go over here. Okay. That's going to be enough for now. 435 is, is good. I feel comfortable with that. Anytime, we're not that far away from this, so anytime we need to, we can kind of just come back in here. So next thing we're going to do, before we even go back, I, I don't really feel like we need to go back right now. I'm going to go fight Tristan. Uh, it's going to be nighttime by the time we find him, most likely. And uh, he's, honestly, we can, I feel comfortable fighting him in the daytime. We are going to swap to Unholy for this, to Word of the Damned. Word of the Damned makes it a little bit easier to deal with because the skeletons can kind of draw aggro. Also, the Condemn is nice to just do that a little bit of extra bonus damage. But for now... Oh, we ride. If I don't get stuck on every tree in the forest. <laughs> Classic. Okay, let's see where we're going here. Straight ahead, okay. Nice. Okay, so he's actually straight ahead, which means... Here for fun mazes. I need those. We should grab that rugged hide, honestly, but that's okay. Seems like he is probably on the other side of this thing. Walking this way. If I had to guess. Yeah, it seems like he's probably right over here. He's probably on this side over here. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay, okay. 
There we go. Uh, let's side over here, maybe? It's pointing this way. There he is. Cool. Alright, we'll kill him right here. Nighttime, right on time. But you're just another kill. See, that's gonna draw some aggro. The little skeleton here's gonna draw aggro from him, which makes it really easy. The biggest thing we have to remember to do here. Now, keep in mind, debuffs stack. Keep that in mind. That's really important information. Um, okay, you missed. That was close, almost got us. The only thing we're keeping our, our dash for here is when we're going to start throwing this, the uh, fire. Oh, you gonna hit us, that's okay. Hit us again, we're on, oh, there, this right here. You want to dodge that, for sure. Ooh, got us again, that's okay, we got these. Oof, flamed us. So that's definitely a problem there, we're gonna pop a potion. Um, because we really, really, really do not want to risk that. A dash there. The skeleton tank that, super nice. There we go, he's throwing it right over there. <laughs> oh. Definitely don't want to get hit by this. The second one would be bad. So we already took a decent amount of damage here. I'm just trying to keep it a little bit healthy. Keep us a little bit healthier. Ooh, that was good damage. Nice. There we go. Ooh. Knocked us out of our thing there. Alright, see if we can bait him into that. Dead. There we go. Nice. Alright, so that's going to be our greater blood essence that we're going to be able to craft off of that, which is what I wanted to do there. And uh, we'll stop off at base really quickly before we TP. Since we're not all that far away. Uh, let's see, alright, horses, horses right over here. Yeah, we're going to stop at a base here before we TP. Since we aren't that far away. And we're going to head up north. The next step we do here is going to be taking out Leandra. So, uh, that, one, that fight's really, honestly, very easy, in my opinion. Uh, especially the way we're going to do it. This will probably be the only boss that we're actually going to, like, legitimately cheese. Uh, I don't horse lord very often these days. Uh, I, I mean, I've done it on bear plenty back in the day whenever it was a little more tricky. But um, Leandra is just, I'm not super, super confident. I probably shouldn't horse lord, actually. Maybe I don't. Eh, maybe I don't. Let's get good together, huh? Let's get good together. You can horse lord her very easily. Oops, that's not what I have to do. You can horse lord her very easily. So uh, let's actually make sure before we leave, let's make one of the these. So we need planks and stone. Grab our planks. Hit stone once. And we're good. We're going to toss this in the workshop. Um, what toss right? That's like a little bit of a weird spot for it. That's kind of weird. So we'll actually go like this. Can we go like this? There we go. That's a little better. Why is this happening? Okay, there we go. Alright, that's a little better. Toss these in there. We're actually going to toss all of our hearts in there. Where's our hearts? There we go. Uh, we can, we'll sort there. Okay, this is annoying me. You go over here now. <laughs> that is very obnoxious. We also need a bit of, we need to use a bit of our storage here, get another one of these or two. Because uh, this is getting old, having to sort through all of this. Research desk, I'm toss that in there. Okay, cool. And we don't actually need our lumberjack axes anymore. I was just using them to like farm with, but at this point, it does, I don't think it really matters. 
All right, learn that. And so we actually can make our, now that I'm thinking about it, we should honestly start making some growing plots, which means we need this. And I think it's like planks. Uh, growing plots, yeah. We'll go, does it matter? I don't actually know if it matters. Uh, we'll go like this for now. The other one was, uh, I think we had some seeds, some other seeds that might be worth looking at. There we go. These will be nice. Eh, we'll toss those in there, not that I care about snowflowers. Snowflowers will be okay with our, for our, uh, what's it called? Um, snowflowers will be good for our enchanted brews, I believe. This will not work. There we go. Toss the rest of this back in here. And, oh, actually, you know what? The next thing we need to do is this right here. Bone, stone. So let's grab a little bit of bone out of our grinder. Which, speaking of which, we will need to get gorse wine as well. That's definitely going to be a thing we need to do soon. Right, and we're half. We have half of our blood left, so I'm keeping that in mind. We have 95% rogue right now, which was a huge find. Oh, that's super, super nice. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll do it over here. And we need a heart and some bone dust. So let's grab a heart here and the bone dust. I think was in one of these. Go ahead and do this. Um, what was I doing? Okay. Don't need planks. Don't need bricks. We'll toss these in here for now. Plant fiber. You always have plant fiber on us. And it's the rat time. Kill the rats. And this is why Word of the Damned and Condemned is just so silly now, because these guys just get wrecked if you, you know, hit them with this move right here and then kill them, you know? It's just insane. Not again. Okay, I thought you didn't go underground for a second. I was like, no! <laughs> All right, um, Future Rat down, that'll be super nice to have. We have Vamp, we have this already, which is super good. This goes here, Taste nice right there. Knowledge. Why not grab some rats? All right, we'll keep that there for now. Uh, and we will throw our stuff that we don't need. Nice, that's good enough. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so Leandra it is. We'll be able to do Leandra because the top of Leandra's area is actually in shade. So we'll be able to do Leandra even if it's daytime. So that's super nice. The other thing we need to actually do before that, though, now that I'm thinking about it, we need to hit up the Dunley Monastery. And unfortunately, I didn't go high enough over that side, so I won't be able to do it right away. But we're going to hit up Dunley Monastery first to get some Scourge done. Because we will need as much scourge stone as we possibly can get. So hop down this. Run up this way. And I'm going to mark it on my map. So I know where I'm going. Okay, you know, it's like I know in theory where to go. But it's always nice to make sure we have it marked. Wow, that base is not taken. <laughs> That's actually crazy. This is like one of the best base locations in the entire game. I'm shocked defensively specifically, but... I mean, even in general, it's really good. So I'm actually shocked that's not taken. So, hmm. 
well, whatever works for us. Uh, we'll have to kill Bane here soon as well. I'm not super confident in Bane, so we'll probably come back with a uh, Scourge Dump Pendant first, or Scourge Pendant, because I think I fought him like once so far, and it was just one of those fights where, you know, you kind of get to it and you're like, uh, okay, <laughs> I, I think I get it, so. All right, we're going to hop off our horse right here, go wolf form. And we're going to head in and grab us some Scourge Stone. The once ever elusive Scourge Stone. Once upon a time, it was very, very hard to get. But now that this doesn't knock you out of Wolf Form, the Holy Radiation doesn't knock you out of Wolf Form, it's actually kind of crazy that you can do this. Because, like, you can kind of just walk in and do this without much risk. Before there was at least, like, some risk. Six scourge on a one thing that is insane. All right, go like this. Dodge that. Is there any patrol back here? Hmm. Chest. We'll take the chest. Nice. But I want that glass for sure. Getting a little bit of damage. No big deal. No patrols. Always nice. Uh, oh, there's the patrol. Dodge here, and we will hop right off. Nice. I'm going to pop a potion here. I don't want to use my blood because we want to use this 95% for Leandra. It's going to make things way easier. Oh, okay. There we go. So how much Scourge did we get all together? I think it was like coming up on 20. Oh, 10, only 10, huh? Hmm. So we didn't get lucky on some of those. But that'll actually be okay because we should get some in Leandra's zone. And if we don't, we can kind of just come back. I do care about Vincent. I like I do care about Vincent, but now is not the time. I'd rather push my progression first. Woo! -hoo. Hey guys, <laughs> don't mind me. Just running through, just passing through here, my friends. A lot of bad guys there. A lot of patrols. Pop one more potion. Here we go. I was hoping that the thing would wear off faster so that I could get my max HP up here. Nice. So we're actually going to skip all of this and just scan for chests. Nothing here. No chests there. Nothing back there. We're going to run all the way. I don't see any chests at all. That's super unlucky. Usually there's some kind of chest. We're going to go all the way back here and wait for everything else to break its aggro range except for these things. chest. That's really weird. I actually really like Veil of Storm. Like, it seems really strong. We're going to kill all this because we're going to have to pull things down here. Dash into the shade here. Oh, got some enemies patrolling here. Hmm. I don't really want to fight those guys, to be honest. So I'm going to go all the way back here. This should break the leash range. Maybe Undead Guardian has crazy leech range. I don't know about, but there we go. <laughs> there we go. Go away. Go away. I hate these things. Little flying skulls. Oh, he's right here. Wow, did they actually aggro him from there? That was crazy. Interesting. I've never seen that before. I wonder if that's like, uh, has something to do with these skulls or something where like aggroed on me whenever he saw me. All right, so chest just spawned. I will kill this guy. As long as he's closer, you know, these guys, he's further away from those guys. There we go. That damage is crazy, honestly. Like, two, scour two Scourge Stone from that. That is what we like to see. Two more Scourge Stone. There we go. That makes up for the mediocre um, Dunley. So that actually should be enough for our stuff. Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna run from that. I don't really don't feel like fighting those people. 
like uh, or fighting her at the same time. There we go. Oh my gosh, 99 damage. That's insane. They, I know they changed the damage values and like the ratios and stuff. Um, it's definitely something I still have to get used to because like <laughs> that is so much more. Like I see it, I'm like I immediately panic. <laughs> If you know that the damage values were before, it's like, oh my, like, 100 damage doesn't, at this point, would be like, GG. <laughs> You're dead. I mean, that was not action insane, though. Holy, dude, they hit so hard. There, jeez. That was crazy, how much damage they do. Any rats? We have some bones, we have some this, we don't have any rats. Hmm. Hopefully our blood lasts for this, because we have to kill two more guys here. Oh, one more. We pulled that. Nice. Okay, good. We have the range increase on our Chaos Volley. Actually, so sick. Nice. That's crazy. What the heck? Alright, cool. Um, We'll pop one more potion. I hate using this many potions like this. I mean, those those five potions or something within like two seconds. Uh, but we'll hopefully be able to get some rats to uh, make up for it. We're gonna hit these pillars down right now because this junk gets super super old whenever you're fighting. Oh, I'm not gonna horse lord though. That's right. Okay, so I'm not going to horse lord. That's my goal. So not horse lord. Mm, we'll use word of the dam because that will trick her, make it a little bit tricky for her. Back up here. Oof, still hurts anyway, huh? Oh, I hit us anyway on that too. There we go. We should have something going on here. One little bro. I'm getting hit a lot, so I'm actually gonna just pop this right now. Jeez. So I'm making a lot of mistakes because this this shows me this shows you how like little experience I have fighting her on the ground here. It's actually kind of embarrassing. <laughs> there. She's gonna go. You hear that? They're coming. Doing a lot of damage though. I almost wonder if you could just like wolf form this. That's annoying. Here we go, smacker. No! Oh, oh, come on, dude. That's so annoying. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we got her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, all right. We figured it out. We figured it out. Need some blood soon. Got this. Unsleet hearts. Once you know that. Need some... Need some rats. Uh, any chests that I need to look at down here? Sometimes they spawn right behind this. I don't see anything. All right, uh, 16. Let's see, has it been long enough for Dunley to come back? Probably not. It's so hard not to look in these castles. Oh man, it's so hard. I could literally just walk in like this and just take a bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's so, uh, but it's very fake to do that, so. I mean, look at this. Do we do it, do we just look? Do we just take a peek? Anvils is up top, you know? Like, here's the castle chest.
Nice looking castle, dude. Sorry you got riggedy wrecked. All right, we'll get out of here. <laughs> Wasting time. <laughs> just that loot goblin, you know, just sniffing it out. Just sniffing out that loot. Okay, went the wrong way. Where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? Okay. Um, we might actually, before we head back here, uh, we might actually go kill... Actually, can we kill... Maja? Is it worth it to kill Maja? Because we don't have anything to use for Maja. I don't think it actually matters. So let's head back over to the Bastion of Dunley. And maybe we can get uh, another spawn of Scourge down there. Because that will be helpful in the future as well. Just to make sure we have some of it already go ready to go whenever we need to start making Spectral Dust. Um, at this point, the part of this part of the run, it kind of becomes a little more freeform. Um, you can beeline straight to like, like a, a very smart thing right here, right now would probably be to just immediately go back. What was that? Was that Bane? Hold on. That's Bane. Okay, hold on. What's he looking at? What's he looking like? Oh, I'm jumping in on this. Yo, what up? What's up? What up? What up? <laughs> nice. I'm I'm just gonna head out. <laughs> Here, here's a here's a tip for you. Here's a tip for you. Uh, let's see. Uh, give you some of these, some of that. There you go. Oh, sweet. Thanks, man. <laughs> see you, dude. <laughs> This gotta be nice, you know. Just gotta give him a little tip for the free bane. You know, we take those where we can find him. Uh, again, like in a normal run, I know that may seem like, oh, what the? You just got a free bane? No, that's not how the normal game is. Well, honestly, yes, it is. Sometimes you get free stuff. Um, and in fact, I would say whenever you first start a fresh wipe, that's like whenever you get the most free stuff. Like, uh, you'll you'll frequently find situations where like unless you're really pushing towards Quincy as fast as possible I cannot tell you the number of times I've just ridden past Quincy and seen that he was open and just been like cool and then just went and got his stuff like went and like just got you know got his got the ult and immediately was like 20 minutes into the game and I have Quincy you know like or I have a I, I can start smelting iron or finding iron and whatnot so that's going to be the end of episode four. We were able to get in a position to down Leandra with full hollow fang, get the scourge stone that we're going to need to make our scourge stone pendant, as well as get a sneaky quick bane. Now, um, if you need help with that boss specifically, uh, I'll probably end up making another video just showing killing him at level 50. But like I said in this video here, you do not, you know, you'll, you'll find those little freebies all over the place. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. And next episode, we are headed over to Octavian. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we will catch you in the next one.